Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage the co-founder and chairman of Concordia, Nicholas Logothetis, and Concordia co-founder, chairman, and CEO, Matthew Swift. Hello. I can't tell you how good it is to see you all here. <laughs> uh, to everyone joining us here in New York, thank you for coming. Um, it's so great to see so many of you in person after two years, almost to the day. Um, thank you for adhering to our uh, COVID-19 protocols and keeping those around you safe. For those of you joining us virtually, hello. Uh, from the comfort of your homes, thank you for, for participating. For many of you, this will be your second year of joining us on our platform, SpotMe. Uh, for others, it may be a totally new experience. Um, what matters is in this very unusual time that we're here together in some way. This year marks a momentous occasion for Concordia. It's our first ever hybrid annual summit. And I'm proud to have witnessed Concordia's growth over the past 11 years. This year, confronted with a particularly challenging environment, I've seen our team adapt in ways that we've never faced before and pretty much no one has ever faced before. Uh, the resiliency, tenacity, and determination of our team is, is astounding, and I'm proud to see their work every day. On a personal note, 10 years ago, on this very day, September 20th, 2011, we held our first Concordia Summit in Battery Park. It's been a long and unexpected journey to our 11th annual summit. Uh, Matt and I could not be more proud of the progress we have made, and I would urge all of us to try to make the most of the time we have together. It will be different this year, and perhaps a little stressful for all of us, but our teams have worked day and night to make this summit as seamless as possible. So on that note, I want to say thank you again for joining us, and I would be remiss if I also didn't wish a very happy birthday to my wife, Monica. Thank you. <laughs> well done. Um, thank you, Nick. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, on, on uh, my part, good morning. And allow me to welcome you all to the 2021 Concordia Annual Summit, both here at the Sheraton New York Times Square and digitally on our SpotMe platform. You will find that I will be focusing on both the people in this room and on those cameras in the back, since such a large portion of Concordia's global community is participating with us from their offices or homes all around the world. In 2019, we convened a summit with representatives of over 90 countries. That list continues to grow, and by offering our digital summit on SpotMe, our ability to engage more people from every corner of the world increases. These are complicated times for all of us. For some, these are times of immense challenge and uncertainty. For others, these are times of great potential and opportunity as we emerge from the COVID-19 pandemic. Each morning, like so many of you, I wake up and feel the world is a bit off balance. There is still a sense of uncertainty, and I also think about the future and think about the many, many things that are possible. Coming together, and yes, building the infrastructure to get back together in person is one of the most critical elements of embracing what is possible. Many say that our lives have been forever changed, and I'm the first to admit that there are many advantages to the expansion of our digital world. However, coming together, being together in person, is not something that to me can be fully replicated digitally. There is nothing that can replicate the power of that human-to-human -human encounter. I am often asked what values emerge from our summits and that is often not a simple question to answer. So as we come together in this hybrid fashion, think of it this way. Each encounter, each speech, each meeting can produce something that you could not imagine. Opening oneself to those encounters is actually how one can have immense change on issues big and small. Each of us are one degree away from everyone you know. That one degree can have both a large and small impact on just about any issue you can imagine. On Sunday, SpaceX Inspiration 4 flight carrying four civilians came back to Earth. 
The plan was always to land in the Atlantic Ocean. But what if the weather was not good? What if the ocean was too rough? All they had to do to change their trajectory was to adjust it by one degree. And they would instead land in the Gulf of Mexico versus the Atlantic Ocean. Never underestimate that one degree. And remember that in-person connections we all make can have an entirely ordinary or remarkable impact. You never know. Now, let's get to the business of the day. First, I want to thank some of our partners and sponsors, Google, the Policy Circle, U.S. Global Leadership Coalition, Visa, and Bayer, some of the sponsors of today's first programming. Thank you also to our patron members, media partners, and of course our speakers. In order to keep everyone safe and protected, we are producing more waste at this year's summit. But in order to think through the sustainable fashion by which we execute this summit, I want to thank our sponsor, Rubicon, for leading our efforts on sustainable waste and recycling solutions. With their help and expertise, we can all end waste in all of its forms, everywhere, and still keep everybody safe. For those of you joining in person, please adhere to our strict COVID-19 in-person guidelines. We ask that you wear your mask at all times unless eating and drinking, or for those speakers on stage. We will have periodic temperature checks, and please allow time each morning to be tested in Sugar Hill, the room down below, the lower level of the Sheraton. For those of you joining digitally, Please familiarize yourself with the SpotMe platform, customize your agenda, connect with other like-minded attendees using the matches feature or the next step networking during coffee breaks, and engage with the virtual audience in the discussion feed using the chat feature. Remember, you can also catch up with sessions later on with our on-demand section. First up this morning, we have a presentation by the Portolins Institute's co-founder and director, Bruno Landvin. It's a flashpoint about the Future Readiness Index launch and a ministerial panel coming up after that, Innovation Tools to Improve a Digital Feature, where Google and the Portulans Institute will discuss, how a, discuss a new tool for governments, businesses, and civil society used to measure their digital readiness for the future. I hope you enjoy it, and I look forward to seeing all of you throughout this venue uh, and online over the next four days. Thank you so much.